This is a quick video over depreciation. Pre oh, that's with an E. Yes, it is. Depreciation. And what we want to do is look at straight line method for depreciation. Straight line method of depreciation. So there's multiple methods for depreciation, but right now we're just going to do the basic, very simple one. So what is depreciation? It is the decrease in the book value of a piece of machine or of equipment. So it's the decrease of book value from year to year. Book value from year to year. So what I mean by that is, let's say we have a piece of equipment that cost us $100,000 in year zero. So we bought it. So this will be the years. We bought it at year, we bought it in one year. <laughs> we bought it at time zero for $100,000. And we're going to look at it over a five year period of time. So then we'll have year one, year two, year three, year four, and year five. Now at the end of its life, which is the five years, so the five, the five years is the end of life or the lifetime we expect for it. So lifetime, time of equipment. So we expect to get five years out of this machine and we expect to be able to sell it for $25,000. Now typically when you see this $25,000 it's known as the salvage value. So this is the sal salvage value. So that's how much we can sell it for. So we, we believe we can sell it for $25,000. Now, if we're going to do the straight line method of depreciation, which is one method out of the multiple methods, there are many, many methods, but this is a pretty straightforward one. If we were going to find the depreciation or how much the uh, piece of machine decreases in value from year to year, we just do it based off the number of, of years that the machine will be around and the difference between the cost basis and the salvage uh, cost. So what I mean by that is the book value are, so okay, I gotta say this right, the the depreciation for one year, year in, whatever year it is, is equal to one over the number of lives it has, which is five years of life, so a lifetime of it is five years, times the cost we bought it for, which is 100k minus 25k, because that's how much we're losing $75,000 over the five years we own the machine. So what is 1 over 5 times 75k? Well, that is equal just to 15k. So now, we bought the machine off of the first year, and this is the book value. Book value. And it is equal to $100,000 the, uh, <clears throat> the first year of the machine. Or the, the moment we bought it, it's still worth $100,000. However, after one year, it will lose $15,000 in value. $15,000 in value. It will lose $15,000 in value. So 100000 minus 15000 is 85000 So the book value of the machine after one year is $85,000. The book value of the machine after two years is just 85000 minus 15, which is 70000 So then again, it's going to lose $15,000 again after the, th after the third year, which is, I believe, 55000 and again, it's going to lose another 15000 after the last year, or I'm sorry, the fourth year, which would be um, $40,000. And then again, to make sure we did it right, it's going to lose an additional 15000 and it will be $25,000 of value at the end of five years. Now, does this mean it actually lost $15,000 from this year to this year to this year to this year? To this, to this year, to this year? No, not necessarily. It's just what we think it will lose in value. We don't know how much we'll actually be able to sell it for, but we're just going to estimate and say we're going to be able to sell it for 25000 after five years. It may be we only be able to sell it for $10,000, and our depreciation was off. Our depreciation was off. So that's the idea is, is it's not exact. It's not exactly losing fifteen thousand dollars a year, but we believe it will lose approximately fifteen thousand dollars a year with the straight line method.